Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my top five favorite high-end eyeshadow palettes. So if you guys want to know what they are, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, please turn on the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload. Now let's get started with the video. My number five favorite palette has to be Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has been out for about three to four years, I believe, so it's been quite a while. It's still a must-have. Um, you have your warm tones and you have a few pink shades in there and Rilgar, that's a really nice orangey shade. So this is definitely a must in your collection. I think all of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are a must-have because they're really innovative. She really comes out with different ideas. Even Norvina, she's always been a part of it as well. So she always steps out of the, you know, comfort zone. I know some shades are the same in other palettes, but you know, you can never have enough. I always run out of Burnt Orange, which is a must-have. I think it's in quite a few of her palettes. Raw Sienna is another must-have. Real Gar and Red Ochre. And also Warm Taupe, whenever you want to do like a cool tone look. But yeah, if you don't have this in your collection, I definitely do recommend it. I've always created a lot of burgundy looks with this palette, so I always do something with Red Ochre. Venetian Red and Love Letter. So those are a few of the shades that I always gravitate towards with this palette. All the shimmer shades are really, really pigmented. They do tend to have a little bit of fallout, but I don't really mind the fallout. If you do mind fallout, you really should do your eyeshadow first and then your makeup. It comes with the mirror and it also comes with the dual ended brush, which I love. I love those little brushes. They're definitely a must for the lower lash line. You can definitely get in the crease as well with those brushes. It is $42 with 14 shades. The next palette and the fourth place goes to another Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I told you guys that I'm a fan of these eyeshadow palettes. They're just a must in my opinion and the Riviera palette just came out a few months ago and I've fallen in love with it. I've created a few looks on camera and off camera. It's really pigmented just like her other palettes and this is different, you know. She really doesn't come out with colorful eyeshadows but this is a first and I hope it's not her last. Hopefully later on she comes out with different like color schemes like blues purples yeah but bahamas and cans are what i gravitated towards to begin with so i'm gonna swatch the bahama shade for you guys look how pigmented that is can you guys see it like seriously i've never seen a swatch like that from any other palette and it, you didn't see any fallout so that's good right there and then i'm gonna swatch the cans and this is a nice purple shade as well. Also, the shimmer shades, girl, they are so nice. This is really outside my comfort zone. I really don't create colorful looks, but when I do, I go in. You do get 14 shades with this palette as well. You get a mirror as well. And this retails for $45, which is great. It does come with a brush as well. I haven't tried a lot of brands for high-end. I usually have a lot of drugstore eyeshadow palettes. I am familiar with this brand and this is what I love. So I do recommend it to you guys. My third favorite palette goes to... Sigma! This is the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. This is just a warm neutral heaven right here. If you're a neutral girl like myself, look at my look right now, um, this is definitely what you are gonna go towards. And it is very affordable as well, it's not that pricey. You do get 12 shades and you can do a lot of looks with that. So you can do a lot of shimmery looks, here and then you can include some matte shades so I'm gonna swatch this green one right here this is fool's gold it's a nice shimmery green 
Wow, this is so cute. I would love this on the lid. Look at that. That is amazing. And I'm going to swatch the shade Rogue, which is a nice matte red burgundy shade. It's the one here. Look how pigmented they are. I'm going to swatch the shade After Hours, which is a matte brown. That's so nice. So that is the one down there, After Hours. So this does have a little bit of fallout, but it's really okay with me. It's not like subculture, which I don't like from Anastasia. So it doesn't have that much fallout like that one. So this is the swatches right here. I love to create looks with this when I'm on the go. I use it a lot for work. As you can see, it's really beat up. But I think I have another backup for myself. This is going to be fast. You can create a look really, really quick for work, school, wherever you're going. And I do have a code with them, which is Adriana. It can save you 10%. I did have a code Adriana20. Um, you guys can try and use it and maybe get 20%, but I will link everything down below. But with Sigma, I do get a little bit of commission if you use my code. So if you want to help your girl out, it's really a complete palette. And you can definitely travel with this and... It won't break or anything, it's, and it has all the shades in the back as well. My second favorite has to go to Dose of Colors. Dose of Colors has a lot of great palettes in my opinion. I also have the little ones, the Marvelous Mauves, and I just love that palette. And it's definitely my go-to when I do mobs. But my second favorite has to be the Frankation palette with Desi and Katie. It's blinged out. Look at the packaging, first of all. It's so, so nice. And I think it is limited edition, but I think they still have it in stock. If anything, I will link it down below if it is in stock. But I, I will still let you know if it's out of stock. But yeah, this one is just a must. Just with the packaging, I couldn't pass on it. They did have, I think, two collaborations, and this is the second collaboration that they've had. And it's just amazing. It has a mirror. Look at that. These shades are so nice. They're not boring at all. And they have shimmer. These two are really shimmery. They're like more of a glitter press eyeshadow. I'm going to swatch it here, the gold one. I use this a lot when I'm going out and I put it on my lid whenever I do a half cut crease and it's just a must. The red one right next to it is also nice. I use this when I go to work a lot. I love to use these type of colors. It's a burgundy shade. This one is really nice to start with and at first it looks really light on the pan but on the lid on the crease it looks really really dark than this at first you're gonna be like oh my god it's so dark but just keep blending keep blending so i go on with this one first and then i go on with this one and then the darker one so that's what i do that's my little steps that i usually take and this one is such a great bone shade. And if you mess up, you can always go on with this one and erase any mistakes that you've done. So it's not too light and it's not too dark. This is definitely another great palette to travel with because it's not too big, it's not too small. Like my Morphe palettes, they are huge. I can't travel with them. So this one is really great to travel with. When I go to Mexico, I'm going to New York in August, so I'm definitely going to take this. It is $55. It's more on the pricier side, but they do have um, afterpay now on doseofcolors.com. So definitely check it out, save your coins, and pick it up. My number one favorite of all time. I'm telling you guys, this is my must-have at work when I'm doing makeovers. This is my must-have here at home when I'm getting ready to go out or when I'm getting ready for work, obviously, and what I'm wearing right now. So I usually use it when I'm filming videos that I'm not doing tutorials on. So like giveaway videos, anything, this is what I use. This is the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is your dream right here of warm neutrals. Look at that. And you do get a black, which is, you know, always a must. 
you can create wings with the black shade this is noir and it's so so pigmented you guys so you can create a smoky eye for the night you can go ahead and do any daytime looks with these shades over here today i'm wearing burnt orange sienna and then i'm wearing mulberry those are all the shades that i'm wearing on the crease and then on my lid i'm wearing the shade fairy which is the nice gold right there definitely pick it up it's 42 dollars and you get 14 shades as well this is definitely my favorite palette of all time and this is from high end of course i do have my favorite palette of all time of drugstore but that will be in a separate video let me know if you want another video for drugstore palettes even if you don't i still want to film it this is the purpley shade dusty rose and then the other cool tone one is cypress umber i'm gonna swatch it as well i know these are the shades that i don't really reach for but I just wanted to swatch it for you guys and so you can see how they work. A lot of people like Norvina, which is more purpley, but for me, it's not my favorite favorite. Really, purples are not my everyday shades. These are my everyday shades and, you know, they're just perfect, I think. And if you don't have it, you're definitely missing out. Definitely pick it up. If you're going to get something out of the whole video here, definitely get this one right here. It's just perfect all around and you won't regret it. I did want to sneak in a bonus eyeshadow palette that I recently discovered. This is the Dream Palette by Sigma and Beauty Bird. I know this is limited edition and it's not available in a lot of websites, so that's why it's in my bonus. Um, it didn't make the top 5 obviously, but you can definitely keep your eye out on this before it sells out everywhere. This is the palette right here. Look at that. You get a big mirror. You can definitely travel with this. And then you get all these shades. You also get two highlighters. I really want to play with the purple shades right here. They look really nice. I'm going to swatch Apartment 512. Apartamento 512. I think she got it from the Selena song. Look at how pigmented that is. I think Sigma really stepped up their game with eyeshadows this year girl they should come out with more because their formula it's so so nice it's just an overall really pretty palette i love the marble print in it this is definitely a nice bonus palette that i included for you guys i will link it down below wherever it's available still but yeah i'm gonna link all the eyeshadow palettes down below for you guys so you can go straight to the website and purchase any of the ones that I mentioned here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun video and got some ideas out of it so you can purchase or if you have it in your collection, use it more often. But yeah, if you guys want my top five drugstore eyeshadow palettes, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely film that for you guys and it will be up very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.